So what is the best area in London? Over the last few weeks, I've created a bunch of travel guides for all of the areas of London, north, south, east, west, and central. And in this video, I'm gonna compare all of the areas so that you can decide which one is best for you to check out. Or maybe it's all of them, that'd be great too. Let's jump into it. London is one of the most expensive cities in the world and there are definitely some areas that live up to that name. West London is the winner here for the poshest area in London and it's definitely the most expensive. If you stay in this area, you'll see lots of high-end food and drink places that come with also a hefty price tag. This is also where you'll find the most expensive flats in the entire world and lots of luxury shopping at places like Harrods. You'll also find huge mansions, beautiful green spaces and colorful houses, especially around the areas of Notting Hill and Portobello Road. Finally, if you're in the market for some high-end unique antiques, this is the area to get them. East London is by far the most eclectic area of London. Here you'll find the City of London, which is one of the busiest business areas in the entire world. You also have Brick Lane, home to lots of independent restaurants, bars, and lots of vintage shops. Then there's the Barbican, which is almost like a city within a city built with the brutalist architecture style. But even with all the things that you can do and see in East London, what's super interesting is the diversity of the residents and the cultural aspects of the area. Because East London was traditionally one of the most impoverished areas in the city, it's where a lot of immigrant communities ended up living. And you can see that influence from cultures from all over the world on the area even today. I think that's what makes the area so interesting and exciting, and it's why I choose to live here. If you find yourself in London with a nice sunny day, then North London is probably the best place to spend that day. Why? Well, Hampstead Heath is a beautiful park that has everything from viewpoints to leafy forests to swimming lighthouses that you can go and take a dip in. Then the actual Hampstead area is a beautiful high-end place to walk around, have a cup of coffee, and explore when you've got a lot of sunshine. We've also got Regent's Canal in North London, which is a great walk you can take on a sunny day. You could start from some place like King's Cross and make your way all the way up to Camden. But if you don't find yourself in London on a nice day, don't worry, the next place I'm gonna tell you about is waterproof, sorta. Of. The next category is most weatherproof and central London absolutely takes the cake for this one because there are so many things to do in the area that are inside. That includes theaters, live music venues, comedy shows, museums, bars, restaurants, shopping, everything. Soho is also known as one of the best areas to go out in London in the evenings, no matter what day it is, and it's particularly LGBTQ plus friendly. Central London does have a lot of tourist traps and overpriced places, but as long as you know where to go, you will have a great time. And PS, in this video, I tell you where to go to have a great time. Finally, South London wins for the most underrated area in London. And that's because there are so many amazing things to do in South London, but so many tourists miss out completely. To explore South London, start by going to Brixton and heading to Brixton Village. This is where you'll find lots of affordable food and drink options, plus some great shops that sell things that you won't find anywhere else in London. Also, if you're a fan of live music, you'll probably end up in Brixton because there are some huge music venues there like the O2 Academy and Electric Brixton. Then you could head to Peckham where you'll find lots of independent restaurants and food stalls influenced by the immigrant communities that have called this area home for decades. There are also tons of great rooftop bars in Peckham, which makes it one of the most popular areas for Londoners to go out in the summertime. I have over 250 recommendations for all of the areas that I've just mentioned in this video in the Casual Tourist Guides to London. So click the link in the description box to see those guides in the Love in London shop. And to see more about these areas and other videos, click the boxes popping up right around me. There's lots to do in central London, no matter what the... North, south. <laughs>